Hey guys, Chad Trofgerman here. In today's Joomla lesson, I'm going to go over what modules are. Modules basically allow you to put items on your website, whether they be banners, login forms, polls, menus, and much, much more. It's basically anything you can put on your website that isn't content. And I will go ahead and kind of demonstrate this. First, let's log into Joomla by simply going to your login form and typing in your username and password. And once we're on our dashboard, we're going to go to Extensions, Module Manager. Now, in my last tutorial, we added a links module by creating a links menu. Joomla automatically made the module for us. This time, we're going to make a module from scratch. So let's go ahead and click New. And you'll see that we have a bunch of modules we can choose from right off the bat. Now, just like templates or components or plugins, you can download modules as well. But for right now, we're going to concentrate on what we have here, the default modules. So first, just to start off, let's go ahead and create a login module. This will allow users or yourself to log into your website from the front end without having to access the administrator end on the back. So we're gonna go down here and click the login button and then go to next. Now we're brought to a familiar screen that we've probably seen before and we're going to give this a title. I will name it login. And the important thing here is your position. Now, you're putting the module on your website, and obviously you're putting it on your website, but you're not, it's not gonna be displayed in a regular sense like an article. They will be displayed on the sides of the website, the tops of the website, the footer, and so on. So when you click position, you have a few options here. Now, depending on the template that you have installed, you'll have different options depending on the parameters of the template. So, how do you figure this out? Well, for instance, if you have a purchased template, you can sometimes get um, a feel of what the module positions are by accessing some of the help files in that template. For instance, you'll see I have one here. And it basically dictates all of the positions that the modules can be in. For instance, user one would appear right here on your website. And if you look on your positions, you do have a user one located right here. And left would be on the left column. And of course we have a left position as well. Sometimes if you have a free template, you're not gonna be able to ascertain where the positions are unless you just kind of play around with them. So that's something to keep in mind when going through here. For the login form, we're gonna put it on the left position for right now and we're gonna leave everything else the way it is. And now we're just gonna go ahead and hit save. The um, module is enabled. And with modules, since all of these current modules are in the left position, they are going to be displayed according to order. So on the left side, we will have the main menu first, then the links menu, and then the login form. If you want the login form above the links menu, you're gonna to have to click this up arrow or reorder the numbering as so right here. So you'd put the login at two, you'd put links at three, and then you hit the save button and it would reorder them like that. Anyway, let's check out this module. Let's go to our website here and hit the refresh button. And now you'll see that we have a login form right here. This will, again, as I said, allow our users to log in and check out the various options that you give them, if you give them any. And with modules, let's go ahead and go to about really quick here. You'll see the login module stays. So no matter where you go, no matter what page you go to, the module will always stay there, unless if you dictate it otherwise. Let's go back to our administration panel really quick. Now let's go ahead and click on the login module again. Now if we come down here, you'll see that there is a section here called menu assignment. This allows us to assign the module to different types of menu items. 
Right now it is currently set to all, meaning this module will appear everywhere on any page that we go to on the website. But let's say we just want it on the home page. Let's go ahead and select this button right here, select menu items from the list, and let's go ahead and just check home. Now, if we go to apply or save and go back to our website and go and click home, we'll see the login form is there. But if we go to about, it's gone. Back to home, it's there. So that's another way you can um, arrange your modules as well. If you want certain modules just to be on certain pages, you can by all means do that. And that's a basic overview of how to use modules. And again, there's several different modules out there and there's several different positions. So let's say if you want an advertisement on the top of your website, you would choose the banner position and you would choose the banner module to create that. And then you can put your image in and all that kind of good stuff. So go ahead and play around with those. They're a great way to customize the look of your website and to bring a lot of functionality to your website. With that, I will bid you guys farewell and I will see you guys next time.